Hey baby, uh, while we take a bit of a break waiting for news about my upcoming Guess Who book, Wheatfield Empire, The Listener's Guide to the Guess Who, uh, it's coming, I promise. Uh, I had some last minute proofreading glitches last week that we're working on. Anyway, I want to talk to you about what is uh, one of the big releases of 2020 for me, and that is Rock and Roll Rebel, the early work uh, by Little Steven. So it's this box set here. And one of the great things about this box is that it means that I can get rid of all these CDs. It covers all this stuff. Who am I kidding? I'm not getting rid of any of these CDs. But the box set, um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what's in it and uh, some of my highlights and then a little bit about what's missing. But I will say overall that if you're a Steve Van Zandt fan, um, this is a great set. This is the kind of thing we've been uh, dreaming of for years. Never thought it would be possible. And it's been in the works for many, many years. Uh, of course, Steven's busy with his radio show and he's got, uh, he's had some new solo albums out, uh, new live albums. He's uh, done some major touring. Uh, so he's actually more active than ever uh, in terms of his solo career. So in between when he was able to I get, get little bits of free time, uh, this is what he's been working on and I think it's fantastic. So let's talk about what's in this thing So of course his debut solo album men without women uh, Is in here one of my all-time favorite albums. Uh, it's a perfect mix of soul and rock um, Just a wonderful album uh, and it comes with a bonus DVD, which is uh, his performance on the rock palace German television show uh, from 1982. Great concert. Uh, a lot of fans have it. Uh, it's been circulating for many years, but uh, great to finally have it as part of the package with Men Without Women. Uh, here's Voice of America. It's 1984. Very political album. More of a rock record. Uh, of course, Sun City, the artist united against apartheid benefit record. Uh, it's got Bob Dylan, Gil Scott Heron, Bobby Womack, Keith Richards, Bruce Springsteen, uh, Hall and Oates, uh, just all kinds of great artists all coming together. 1987's Freedom No Compromise, a personal favorite of mine. Uh, this is also a great, great record. This one starts incorporating a little bit of dance movement, uh, music, uh, some salsa kind of elements, but still a rock record, some great Stones kind of guitar. Uh, great record. Revolution from 89. Uh, this has actually never been available on CD in North America before. It only came out in Europe and Japan. So uh, for people who have not been able to get this, that's terrific. I should say all these discs you can get individually as well. They don't just come in the box set. But you'll miss the bonus stuff, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. And finally, Born Again Savage, which is a, a real rock record. This is a, a power trio album but more uh, kind of philosophical lyrics than Stephen had had before. So, you know, each record is really different. Uh, it's great to have them all together. Uh, Voice of America also comes with a DVD, which is his 1984 Rock Plast uh, appearance, of course, with the great Jean Bobois on guitar, my hero. Uh, Freedom No Compromise comes with a pro shot video from The Ritz in New York City from October 1987. Uh, great show. That's uh, another one that's been circulating for years. Um, really great to finally have that where everyone can get it, not just uh, hardcore collectors. And then finally we have the uh, four bonus CDs. So that's a total of 13 discs. We count all the CDs and the three DVDs. But there's four CDs of bonus material. And uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit of some of my personal highlights. Uh, of the bonus discs. Uh, official Little Steven uh, tea mug there. So some of the bonus stuff that I think is really exciting. Uh, of course the title track, Rock and Roll Rebel. Uh, it's a studio version uh, recorded in Brussels and uh, never been out before. Steven was playing it live. It was the show opener for his 1983 Solidarity European Tour. But uh, we've never heard of the studio version before. Obviously, that's the title of the box set, and that kicks off the bonus tracks. Uh, great tune. He's still kind of funny in it. Uh, it's got some political elements. Um, it's great to finally get the studio version of that out. 
Now there's three songs from the Men Without Women movie, uh, which is really great to hear. You know, they're very raw versions of the songs off the first album. But it's a little odd. In the liner notes, Stephen says that they never actually made the movie. Uh, he refers to them uh, shooting a couple of scenes, but never actually, uh, he actually calls it an unmade film. Um, I don't know why he's saying that. Uh, maybe he's tired of people bugging him if it's ever going to come out on DVD. Uh, the film was finished, uh, whether it needed some more editing or something possible. Uh, it did play for a week at the Fox Theater in Venice, California. Um, there are newspaper ads uh, which ran at the time uh, advertising that the film was going to be at the Fox Theater. So uh, there is a 90 minute film, Men Without Women, and, um, that, that was finished. Uh, I definitely wouldn't call it unmade uh, or never filmed. That's, that's a bit of a stretch, but uh, who knows. Uh, so a really exciting thing is um, the song Caravan was a B-side to the single uh, Forever. So it's a Duke Ellington song, it's an instrumental. Uh, Steven does it in the style of uh, kind of Jeff Beck's, Beck's Bolero, if you know that tune. Uh, so that's, uh, that's also one of the bonus tracks here. And that was put on a, an earlier version of uh, Voice of America by Razor and Tie, but it really doesn't fit in with that. Uh, personally, I would put Caravan on the actual Men Without Women disc. Uh, years ago, I made three different CDRs of the Men Without Women album and I put Caravan in a different place in the running order on each disc just to see kind of what would flow better if they ever did do a deluxe edition of Men Without Women. Um, I told that to Steven that I had these three different running orders of the Men Without Women album to see which one makes the most sense of where Caravan should be. And he asked me which one makes the most sense and I said all of them. Um, so what else do we have here? Sun City, uh, the Sun City disc has a previously unreleased uh, jazz piece, which uh, they took the, some of the tracks that Miles Davis had laid down in the studio, and then Ron Carter, Herbie Hancock, and Tony Williams built a piece around it, which is what they did for the jazz piece that's on the album called Struggle Continues. But this is a totally different uh, piece called uh, Soweto Nights, and uh, it's just fascinating. Uh, even I didn't know that, that this ever existed. Uh, so to hear new music and of course the importance of Struggle Continues and So What Are Nights is that it's a reunion of Miles' second grade uh, quintet. Um, Wayne Shorter's not there on sax, but just having Herbie Hancock, Tony Williams and Ron Carter together playing not actually with Miles but to Miles' uh, tracks that he laid down is really exciting for, for jazz fans. So I'm really happy that that's on there. Um, the song Bitter Fruit from Freedom No Compromise. Years ago, I gave Steven a CDR, which was as many different mixes and edits of Bitter Fruit uh, as I had, um, which was all of the available versions. And I told him, you know, this, you, you need to put this out. And he laughed. Uh, he laughs a lot. <laughs> but he said, you can't put out that many different versions of the same song on one disc. So on here, I'm proud to say we have four different versions of Bitter Fruit. So maybe he, he came around to my way of thinking. Um, the disc that I gave him, I think, had like nine. So four is a lot more manageable. So uh, it's really great to have all four of those on there. One of them specifically is a very rare mix. It was only on a UK 12 inch. Uh, I've only ever seen it once in person and that's the one that I own. So I was really happy that he was able to get that on there. Uh, so there you go, lots of stuff on here. Um, there's lots of early Southside Johnny rehearsal takes where uh, Steven is singing lead and he's uh, even kind of directing the band. There's some radio ads. There's uh, just lots and lots of great stuff. It's an embarrassment of riches for uh, little Steven fans or uh, professors of Vans Anthropology like myself. So what's missing? Well, not too much. I don't want to nitpick, but uh, you know, there's a radio ad on here that Stephen actually reads himself, which is for uh, the Disciples of Soul appearance at the American Us Festival in 1983. That's fun to hear. But the song Under the Gun from the Us Festival was issued as a B-side to the Saul Derry single, uh, seven inch and 12 inch versions. Um, so that's not on here. And I think that would, that would have flown 
really nicely uh, from that radio ad. And it's a, it's a killer version. Uh, the band was on fire. Um, they had to go on at like 9 a.m. in the morning, but fantastic performance. Um, from the 87 era, there's a, a few mixes of the song Trail of Broken Treaties, and none of those are on here. I, uh, there's a great extended version uh, that runs about seven minutes, actually maybe closer to eight minutes. Uh, I really feel that should be on here. When Steven toured the Freedom No Compromise album in 87, when he was doing headline shows, as opposed to the shows he was opening for U2 in the States and Peter Gabriel in Europe, uh, but for Disciple of Soul headlining shows, they would actually play the extended version. So the way that it is on, tw on the 12 inch is the way that they were doing it live. And it's, uh, it's not just um, extended digitally. There's, there's extra vocal parts, there's a, lot, there's a lot going on. And I think it's really, really great. It's a shame that it's not on the set here. Um, from the 89, Revolution period, he does have a couple of mixes of the song Revolution, but unfortunately we're missing two remixes of the song Love and Forgiveness. Um, we're missing also a mix of the song Leonard Peltier, and uh, that would have been really, really great to include. Most of these discs are pretty lengthy though. The Sun City one is a little light. They can definitely add some stuff to that. But to keep in the themes, uh, for time-wise, it would be a little tough. To add these songs would mean possibly trimming a few things here and there uh, to make room. So I can see that time would be an issue uh, for adding all this kind of stuff. Another thing that is missing that I was really hoping they were going to be able to find, the 1987 uh, concert from the Ritz in New York City. Uh, it was professionally filmed, it was broadcast in Japan, but it's missing the first encores. And uh, I was really hoping that those were going to surface and be a part of this package. I'm not totally surprised that they're not. I don't even know if they were filmed. I've never seen any indication that they were filmed. Um, I've owned many versions of the 87 Ritz uh, over the years from VHS, DVD-Rs, um, and I've never heard of this, um, this first encore has, has never uh, appeared before. I have it on an audio, so I know it happened. Uh, I have an audio recording of the complete show so I do know it happened, but uh, so that is probably a good reason why it's not on the DVD. Um, this is even a CD version of that show, uh, which is also missing those encores, unfortunately. Um, so overall, a great set. Again, uh, this is for hardcore Little Steven fans, people who've been waiting for more than just uh, his studio albums. Lots of rare stuff, lots of studio outtakes, uh, some live stuff from the Men Without Women tour or era. Uh, highly recommend it. Go to Steven's website. You can order it up. Um, I'm not sure how limited it is. I wasted no time on uh, placing my order. And yes, full disclosure, I did receive a credit inside this box set for uh, some contributions that I made to it. But that doesn't change my opinion that this is essential for little Steven fans. Uh, that's it for now. Hopefully my next video will be some uh, more uh, good news about the Guess Who book. Um, if there's any comments or questions about the Steven box set, please leave them below. I promise I'll answer them all, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.